oftentimes when clients come to me, and I run, of course, the AR crew division where we negotiate and um, go after funds that are outstanding, <laughs> there are millions already in AR. I, clients don't come to me usually upon a startup because they think they have this figured out. They don't come to me at 100 grand because they feel like they have enough money and capital to eat that. You hit three mil, you, you know, it gets a little tight and it gets a little difficult and that's when I get the clients. You need to look at this as a systems approach. This is very little to do with a billing and coding issue. And so this is not to say that your third party biller is not doing a good job. They may or they may not be. I don't know who you utilize and what the services provide. But when we're looking at AR, we're looking into the systems approach. We can go back and fight, but what's gonna happen next month if you haven't changed your operations internally to match the pair requirements? Ongoing audit and review of clinical documentation. You have to have somebody's eyes on that clinical documentation. There needs to be a sample amount, percentage amount. I usually suggest 10 to 15% of every level of care and treatments that are on a monthly basis being reviewed. If you are having significant issues and you're implementing this brand new, I would suggest a much higher amount until you kind of get a flow. From each level. Each level of care. So if you provide IOP, PHP, RTC, and detox, 10 to 15% at each level of care for all charts, and then a portion of discharge charts. We, I'm sorry, I said it. Weekly or monthly? Weekly? Well, you know, it really depends on like how your systems work. Um, I've done weekly at some facilities. It really depends on who's doing your audits. If it's a clinical director, it may be over inundating for them to do this on a weekly basis. They may have an end of month report that you require for them, and they sit down at the end of the month and kind of knock this out. This is imperative for you to understand that this is directly attached to your reimbursements. You cannot fight with insurances because their expectation is that you understand the guidelines. You say, I will accept your guidelines in order to fill you. You agree to that. It is your responsibility to understand and implement those guidelines.